Hi, I'm Mrs. Powell and this is Art at Home. Today I'm going to show you some printmaking that you can do from things in your kitchen. Oh, the first type of print I'm going to do is just a simple print and I'm going to use a cut orange. You don't have to use orange. You can use potato and cut out a shape or any other type of food that you can cut in half. And um, I'm using student acrylic paint that I've got from home and I've put a little bit of it here. But if you don't have acrylic paint, I was just going to do an experiment and mix a bit of, got a bit of food colour in water here and some flour. And I was just going to see if I could make a paste with that to print with as well. So I'll do one of each, just adding a little bit of water at a time and see if I can get a bit of a paste for those of you who don't have any paint at home and we should be able to. I think the tip is if you want things to preserve a little bit so it doesn't go mouldy on your page, you add a little bit of salt to it so you could try doing that as well. Alright so I've got a little bit of paste there that I can use as well. So the first one, well let's try the paste first. So I'm just going to dip the orange in till I've got a coating and give it a print on the paper. Just push onto the paper, lift it up. Ooh, interesting. Okay, now I would probably wipe that down. I can put the orange in the paint now. It's probably going to give us a better print. I might use a different piece of paper. And give it a print in the middle. Yeah, cool. Alright, so I am also going to do a couple of different prints with it. So the second print, I'm not going to add any more paint to it because there's quite a lot of paint on that one. So there's still quite a lot of paint on my orange. And as I experiment with a bit less paint, you get to see a little bit more detail of the pattern of the orange coming through. So I'm going to do maybe one more. Cool. Now, because you've put paint on this, you can't eat it. You can wash it off, maybe cut it off and eat the rest of the orange, but don't eat the paint. Just wanted to make that clear. Okay. Now, I collected some other things from around the kitchen, and I'm going to give them a bit of a try. So, this is just a bit of toilet roll that I have cut into a bit of a flower shape. I'm just trying to get enough paint on each little piece to do a print. Let's see. No, need a little bit more of that. So that looks quite interesting and abstract. I'm going to get a bit more, a little bit on my fork maybe, and do some painting, printing with a fork. What else can we do? Maybe I'll use the fork to put the paint on my flower. Hmm. Maybe I need to push down on each petal. Oop. Goodness, making a bit of a mess. It's fun though. Ah, oh, that's better. I'm going to put one here. I'll push the petals down. Mmm, cool. 
Maybe I'll try that technique on a fresh piece of paper. Just paint with the plastic fork onto the cardboard and put a nice print here and push down with my finger. Better remember to wash my hands before I touch anything. There we go. Now make sure when you're putting your prints to dry, you're not putting them on top of each other. So spread them out or you can even go and peg them up on the washing line to dry. And when they're dry, we're going to draw around and on top of them. But I was just going to show you, I found this lid off a bottle. I was going to do some dots and spots with that. That works well, doesn't it? Now I'm thinking that my drawing, I'm starting to envisage what my drawings might look like. So I'm thinking I might do two dots close together. They might be wheels of a car. Maybe two dots close together here. They could be someone's sunglasses. So you can start to have a bit of a think about what you might want to print. Now another way of printing, which is cool, you can use a bit of tin foil. But I got this cool bit out of a packet, a food packet. So I'm having some smoked salmon for lunch. So I was putting the paint on that and spreading it around. Ideally, you would have a roller if you were doing this in a art room. But if you don't have a roller, we just have to make do at the moment, don't we? So I actually do have a roller, but I'm going to do it without just to see how it works out. Now I can use the fork to draw some lines in the paint. If I don't like it, I can just push the paint back around. Maybe I'll leave some lines there and then I'm going to use a cotton tip. You can use your finger. You can use one prong of the fork. And maybe I'll put a sailboat or something up here, just some lines. And I'm going to get my piece of paper. And I'm going to lay the paper over the top like this. this way. Lay it over the top, push down. And then my favourite part. Heel to reveal. Woohoo! Ugh, it's a bit of a splodge, isn't it? Maybe I have to do a few more experiments with that to get it right. Maybe I'll see if I can draw something a bit more simple. Push. Heel to reveal. <gasps> oh, that looks more interesting. Mm, I wonder what I could turn that into. Okay, now we have to wait for our prints to dry so we can clean up while we're doing that. After being on the washing line, my prints are fairly dry now, so I'm going to do some drawings over the top to turn them into something and I got this idea from a student a few years ago when we did this in the classroom and I thought it was so cute I wanted to give it a try so I want it to look like it's someone's mouth <laughs> filled up with a piece of orange or screaming
<laughs> really just having a bit of fun. Now this one was one of the ones with all the spots. Now I'm going to challenge myself to be as creative as I can and come up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different things that these orange spots could be. So what about a meteor flying through the sky? It could be, hmm, drawing a lot of birds lately. Maybe another little bird. <laughs> what about this one? Hmm, what about a spider? <laughs> um, it's a good test of creative thinking, isn't it? What if I drew some lines on this one? And a basketball hoop. Or a netball. <laughs> and maybe if I turn this this way, we can draw a cute little. Vroom, 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 vroom. Um, one left. Hmm. I think I've got a little baby monkey with a banana. wonder what you're going to turn yours into. Have fun! <laughs>